Are you listening to this episode on Himalaya? If you are, congratulations, because you're already using the best new podcast app out there. If you're not, well, you're a loser and missing out, so get it together. Uh, Whether you're a podcaster or a fan, Himalaya is designed with you in mind and has a ton of cool new features like curated shareable playlists and collections made just for you, along with personalized recommendations to help with content discovery. And the best part is, it's super easy to use. It's definitely my favorite listening app, and I'm sure it will be yours too. So do yourself a favor and download Himalaya today, and be sure to follow my show, Worst Firsts, once you're there. Bye. Guys, we are going crazy. We actually cra- reset the camera. We are going so, crazy so over bad. here. I was they joking. had to reset the cameras because they needed to focus in on Christian and Chris. Wow. Wow. My attention wonderful, seeker. Wonderful guests. <laughs> they are Christian, and which is great. Christian. I Catholic, am Christian. She's and Kristen. Cri- <laughs> He's Christian. She's Kristen. Do yeah. you guys get it? Are we okay? Is everyone okay? This is Worst First, which Christian did already. You told me your worst dating story. I did. But oh, Worst yeah. First has expanded. It's expanded. It is blowing up. It's blowing it up. Blowing out of the water. All over the nation. Guys, That's why we I have heard more this than before. just my dad watching this now. It's crazy. <laughs> my dad and my and, aunt. And my aunt. <laughs> Are now subscribers. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Um, Hi, Dad and Aunt. So excited to have them watching this. Um, basically, now on the show, we are doing any worst first. Like first worst job, first oh. worst drug experience. Okay, oh. I have all of them. You have oh. all of them. All and Kristen, too. Okay. I want to hear you say it. first, wait, what was the last, what was first, the second one? First worst <laughs> drug experience. <laughs> Oh my God! Literally, there's been a there's. I mean, you there's went from a, lot a to Z. Right, right, from right. First I'm worst like, job. I'm like, first worst <laughs> overdose. It's like, how do you go from that to that? I was expecting to say something else oh that was first gosh. worst. That's so fucked up that you said. True. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> guys, I'm ready mental. to tell you stories. <laughs> I'm mental. How did I even That's get a so podcast? That's like, why we have It's podcasts. insane, yeah. insane. Okay, so I'm so excited. So I don't know which one of you wants to start first, sharing your first worst. Do you story. do one too, or is it just us? Oh, yeah, well, I can share yours. Too. You want to hear one of mine? Of Set the tone so I know. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. I was actually, I don't know if I've shared this before, but I was I was telling Tommy yesterday because Tommy did the podcast yesterday, and I was telling him about the first time I had sex, and it was the worst. Oh like I was so paranoid. I was eighteen. And I was so paranoid. This guy was like a, a rock star, like druggy guy, you know, whatever. <laughs> Cle- clearly my type hasn't changed. Um, <laughs> I'm married now, by the way. Tommy Lee. <laughs> so, so like he like hit on me. He was so sweet. I don't know if I've shared this before. Anyway, I, I ended up like going back to his house. Like after hanging out a couple times, he like told me how beautiful I was all the time. He was, he was amazing. He was actually like so sweet. He was covered in tattoos. It was so hot. So I go to his house, right? And it's like, it's kind of like, you know, like a drug den, but it's cool. Like, it's like, a, it looks like an opium den, but I'm like, oh, maybe that's just his style. It's cool. So we're like hanging out. Um, we go to have sex and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I was 18. I was like, can you put two condoms on? Your dad's <gasps> in your aunt are watching this? Are you serious? My Head dad and my aunt. Yeah, dad, two condoms. Extra safe over here. Oh so my I God. was like, can you put two condoms on? I'm just scared. He had like a big, like. It was just like scary for me, okay? Because I'd never had sex. And, and two like, condoms. Oh my would god! Help that. So I was like, two condoms <laughs> make sure that I extra I don't get pregnant, yeah. right? Oh my god! So he puts two condoms on. We have sex. It's super <laughs> uncomfortable for me. Obviously, it just feels like I'm just sticking like a fucking rubber chicken up my <laughs> vagina. I'm like, this feels very. Jesus uncomfortable. Christ! <laughs> Literally, that is. What kind of penis did this guy have? <laughs> the rubber chicken that goes. Where the rubber chicken come from? <laughs> it all It swap. was just big, just rubber chicken. <laughs> just think, Ew. big rubber chicken, my vagina. <gasps> oh my god, we're losing all our sponsors. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> they're all they were out, about, they're about to call. They're like, <laughs> that's what. <laughs> Literally, pull out. Pull out. Pull so, the rubber chicken out. So, so we're having sex. It's so painful. I'm like, okay. I'm like not enjoying myself. He's not enjoying himself because he's got like two condoms oh, on. Right? Man, I can't believe he actually did that. And he's right? like, sure. Okay, but now this is why we find out. Now we, went, <laughs> <laughs> now we find out why he did do it. So oh. we're done having sex, and then we go out to the living room. We're hanging out, and he just starts shooting up heroin. Stop. Like literally, like there was a reason why his place looked like an opium. <laughs> oh my god! Because he like had he had all these koi fish tattoos all over him. Oh my god, which is crazy because Tommy does too. And this wasn't Tommy. This, this is, is another really guy. Weird. Oh. And he had all these koi fish tattoos, and he just started shooting up heroin. And then I realized in the koi fish tattoos, he had all I could see all the track marks. So he's a heroin addict. Oh so then I freak out and I'm like, oh my Jesus god. Christ! I'm like, oh my I? god, he's doing heroin. Holy, Holy shit! But he didn't look like a druggie. Like he looked like you know, but his place like did. a rocker. I yeah, mean, his okay. place was like his place was like rock star, like drapey, like kind of like the drapey yeah. scene what did, we had here. What did you do? Like, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what, did you, what did you do amidst walking into? So I into? freaked out. I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, can you take me to the hospital? I think I have AIDS. Like, oh my God. That is I scary. I was so scared. Holy. I was like, take me home immediately. And then I went to I the mean, hospital. Yeah. I went to <laughs> Two oh condoms, God, rubber chicken, and, and then heroin. Scary. I was like, now that you're on heroin, drive me home. Drive me home. Whoa. It Can you drive me awful. home? <laughs> drive me home. He's all, and he's yeah. like BMW, like almost crashing. Drives me home. I go to the hospital. I'm like, I'm pregnant, and I think I have AIDS. Like both. I literally both. Like I was check like, everything, I was please. like, check everything. I have AIDS, and I'm pregnant, and my, it's gonna be an AIDS baby. I was like ready to call Holy. UNICEF. It was awful. Like it was, it was so bad. They were like, uh, "Ma'am, you're fine. You're not pregnant, and you don't have AIDS." I was like, "Oh, you're like Jesus because Christ. I used to." It's I that's literally why. was freaking out. But and what then, do I have? I know, Holy. right? I'm like, I'm not pregnant, you don't have AIDS, <laughs> but. But what else? We found a lot of things. See, that would scare me away forever. I'd be like, we're never doing I anything I was so, ever. and then I didn't have sex again for a really long time. Yeah, and I don't like even remember scarring. the second time. Neither would anyone, I, I feel like, at that so point. It was so scarring. That's, yeah. Because he didn't I've never tell even me. seen anyone do heroin, so I don't even know what that would look oh like. Oh my, I don't know what that looks like either. It was crazy. And then he was like, want some? And I'm all, no. Oh my uh, I'm all 18 with a, a rubber chicken up my vagina. Is this a dare commercial? Hello? <laughs> that is a bad situation. It was really scary, that you guys. So, so scary. I freaked out and was out of there. And Wait, that was your first? And, uh, yes. And then what? I never heard from him again. And I don't even know if I shared that story. I feel like I kind of shared it but didn't really give all the details. That was your first? That was my first time having sex. That's scarring. That's... It was so scarring. Whoa. Like, scarring. I wonder where he is now. <laughs> All right, let me tell you about my like first time going to church. I feel like he's probably dead, not to be mean, but yeah, go ahead. Tell me you guys. You're like, well, this one time I was Whoa. making out with this girl, and like, she and told she, me and I was actually married to her. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. And that was the worst time ever. No, you guys have to tell me now. You're like, I don't know if we can top the heroin story. Jesus. Ooh, yeah. Okay, wait, so tell me, Kristen, yeah. without Christian getting jealous. Will Christian get jealous? Of what? Does he get jealous when you talk about other guys? No. No. Well, the thing is. You just see me? You just see me? We've been dating for nine you years, so you kind of were like... The only guy. Really? Yeah. You've never been with anyone else, Christian? No. Oh my I'm god, it. that's amazing. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> she tells like her story. I feel like that's the most tape recorded. Oh that's the most tape recorded response to anyone. You guys, I'm that crying. is the ama- Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that is yeah. beautiful. Great. She feels bad. Trained for actress. Me, like, yes, well, that was he's like the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Jesus Christ, put oh a fucking roadside next to that thing. <laughs> Woo! Anybody want to come through? You can get a road map. Walking into <laughs> to. Wait, what's like the most of it? Yeah. Oh my what's, god. Oh my god. Literally, when Walking you said the rough podcast patches. was called Worst Verse. That rough patch fucking sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I road know. work ahead. Yeah, road work oh ahead. Literally, god. I should get that tattooed above my badge. <laughs> anyway, Jeez. it's great. No, it's great. It's where it worked out because my husband's got a big wiener, so it, for, <laughs> it fits perfectly. Plugs it up. You know oh what I'm saying? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God! This podcast. You don't have to. You don't have to podcast. Tell. You can tell any words first, right? This podcast any is sponsored by first. Extends. <laughs> oh my God! It's not. It's not meant to be dirty. Okay, guys. Vaginal we're two tightening. religious people. Knock it off. Keep it clean. For Keep a it while. clean, guys. Please. Okay, we're getting it clean. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so. Worst first. What? What do you have that's a worst first? Yes. Worst. Tell me your first worst experience. It can be anything. Okay. She's all. You guys ready for this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever told you this, but I think it's funny to all girls. This is like a girl story. Christian, are you ready? Are you ready for this? I might have told you because it's just like stupid and embarrassing. Okay. I don't know if it's inappropriate. Okay. But the first time. Don't say it. The first time. Don't say it. <laughs> the first time I ever used a tampon. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Yes. Those are horror stories. Tell me. I, I had that too. Okay, you so it's scary. It's scary. You know, it's I, scary. No. Instead of, she's like, this, this isn't helping was, anything. This is an ear. emergency <laughs> situation. It's not absorbing <laughs> what's happening down here. Christian can't relate. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So I, I had to yeah. go <laughs> to a swimming trip the next day. So I had to use a tampon. It was like right. one of those things. Right. So I'm like, I have to figure this out. I didn't have any help. I didn't have to talk. I didn't talk to anybody about how to do this. You didn't. No. How did you get the tampon? I. This is added to the, <laughs> the story. Rick, Rick from behind Red Lobster I at three a.m. <laughs> Thirty-five cents. Oh my god. He gave god. her the full the, the full Ew. lowdown. <laughs> the tampon drug deal. Yeah. <gasps> I need a tampon. Yeah. Oh my god. It's only oh been used three times. Yeah. Only. I know that's bad. That's bad. Sorry. Oh, okay, wait, wait. So what? So wait. Okay, how so did you get it? It was your mom. I got it from my mom. Right. And they were cardboard ones. Ew, for those the first are so time. uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I didn't know anything <laughs> about different types or anything. So I'm like, okay, this says tampons. I'll just use that. Anyways, I don't know what happened, but I feel like it was halfway there. And then I started sweating. Everything started going black. And I passed out and hit my head on the wall. <laughs> and I was I laying on the floor. 
How horrible is With that? With a tampon halfway up your And they finger. found her at camp. Yeah. Summer camp. I don't know what happened. So <laughs> I'm scared from down, that, too. Tampon half in. They're like, this is some weird David Carradine <laughs> shit. We don't really know how to <laughs> place like, this. I don't know how people do this. I literally hit the wall. You sweat. I woke up being there. like, oh, my God. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> it was horrible. It was bad. It's like the worst Someone episode has to be CSI. able to relate. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> Summer camp. They walk in. What do we got, Rick? Oh, my God. We got a fucking teen. <laughs> She's about 18. <laughs> it's a bloodbath. Got a tampon hanging out her cooter. <laughs> it's a bloodbath. It's a goddamn bloodbath in there. <gasps> wow. Like going, just, but why is she still... She's not dead. She's just unconscious. Why isn't she woken up yet? She's just still in there. <laughs> <laughs> Enough for the crime scene to come in and investigate. The they put the markers around her body. Yeah. She doesn't wake up. She wakes up. Oh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Is it in yet? <laughs> I'm just trying to control my flow. Oh, my God. Oh. I stole this from my mom. <laughs> It was traumatizing, and I didn't tell anybody I'm for crying. years later because I was so embarrassed. So. Oh my god! So did you ever learn how to put a in without dying? I sure did. <laughs> I'm still trying to you it still out. find her passed out in the bathroom. Yeah. You wonder what happened. Yeah. That still happens to her. To oh this day. <laughs> my god, Kristen, that is a hilarious <sighs> story. Well, I've Are never heard okay, anyone though? say their first story like that, and I was like, why was it just me? Like I panicked, started sweating, blacked out, hit the wall, and then that was that. Were you okay after that? I think so. I don't even know how long I was. Pa- I was home alone too, so that's dangerous. Oh my god, it is dangerous. dangerous. Say first time, do not try alone. Do not try alone. Use yeah, assistance expert. with tampons. Use expert assistance. assistance. They have a guy like underneath, like ready to. You just ring your doorbell. Your you neighbor's need a doorbell. Spotter. Your neighbor. Hey, listen, I'm about to do this. It's set on the box. I don't I know what do I'm doing. Like... Please help me. Your oh neighbor's like, God. all right, shit. I guess I can help. You know what though? You could have sued the tampon company, probably. Can we still do that? <laughs> Like, we just bought a house. We, we need, need to pay for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you realize your bank account's empty, it's like pulling everything out from back oh, then. Wait, well, I what? remember this one time. I put a tampon in. I passed out. <laughs> and there I was no out. warning. I, I passed <laughs> out. Voice is my I favorite. passed out. I passed out. I don't remember anything. They didn't tell me that I might have passed out on the box. I thought this is a safe thing. Trying to prevent my flow. Flu. My <laughs> flu. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> That's a gnarly story. I, yeah. I got my period when it's I was like 16 at, at camp, at, at Christian See, camp. I was using the tampon to go to camp. Right. Because they was had the Christian to swim camp? there. It was. Oh, my God. So Christian I was at Christian camp. camp. By the way, which I got kicked out the of. The power of Christ. Another story I'll tell you guys. <laughs> I ended up tying up my Christian camp counselor and pushing him down a hill on a rolling chair. Are you kidding me? I was so bad. I, I wouldn't shut the fuck up during class, obviously. <gasps> it's just so much worse because it's a Christian kid. Right, yeah. and so he was like, you know, we're just trying to get through this scripture. He's like, is there anything I can do to get you to not make any noise? And I was like, if you let me tie you up, I will be quiet the rest of the class. And he agreed oh to God. this. And he let us. He was like, He what? let us Fine, tie him up. Just because it's He was camp. like such a Passover. Wow. Get it? Passover? Passover? <laughs> Oh. So anyway, so Did we you just like, purposely make that a, to make a mistake. <laughs> she just made that a joke, right? So we really? t- so the whole group ties him up, right? And then he's like, the okay, whole group? yeah, the whole class. Like I got all of them to like be evil. I was like the heathen. I was like, yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> like I was like the devil. Like... So I turned all the class and we tie the teacher up, right? And he's on one of these rolling chairs like we're in right now. This and he's like, like okay, now that I'm tied up, let's talk about the scripture. And I'm like, no, we're going for a ride. No, we're going down. So I take him <laughs> and we're literally like on now. this. We're literally on this giant hill in a cabin. Oh, and I my roll God. out and he's like, what do you guys know? <laughs> what are you guys doing? So you killed your pastor so as, like, <laughs> as church camp? <laughs> and I take him and I'm like, Argh! and I like push him out the door and he's like, ah! and he like, oh boom, my boom, God. Boom, boom, down Hard cut Britney's in permanent well, confession. Yeah, literally. You have literally, 17 more years to literally go. Literally rolls down the hill and bumps his head. He's rolling in the chair. His hair's all messed up. He's like, ah, screaming. He's tied up so he can't put his arms <laughs> out. All the kids so in on it with you. And all you. the kids are like, ah, all laughing. And I'm like, that's right. Oh that's right. God. Let's laugh, devils. Let's <laughs> laugh. No, I'm just And the rest of the kids are realizing yeah. you're crazy. And they're like, like, still trying to go along with it, but realizing you're crazy. Like, they're like, yeah. How'd she get in here? Uh, I, Brittany. Want, I want to go back to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then I get kicked out, obviously. Wow. What a bunch of pussies. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Like, you need counselor. to pick her up. <laughs> bunch of pussies in there. They couldn't handle going down to Mount Everest. I was a, literally the biggest. Jet. The hill was like this deep. Wow. I remember watching him bounce, like his body. On a freaking oh rolling chair. And all the blood, it was crazy. Jesus. <laughs> and here she is now, out of pocket. Jesus. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, no, he didn't bleed, but he, you know, he got hurt. But it's okay. I, you know, I didn't want to be there anyway. So wow. I got what I wanted. I got to go home. So <laughs> it's a great story. Are you yawning Appreciate right it. now? 
That's rude. Was when it I boring? Talk a lot, no, was you know it when you boring? Talk, you know when you talk a lot and you exhale too much that your body's trying to inhale? Whatever, it? I'm boring. I get it. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to Christian's story. Go ahead. Tell us your worst <laughs> something. What it is was, it? it Did you ever really do any oh drugs? You're not allowed to talk about that. No, no, no. But what about, what's your worst? Can you please tell us about your job? In, oh um, my in a golf course. Where did you first work? Was it awful? I, I can't imagine you working store. anywhere. What happened? It's tilted. Do I just Uh-oh. pull it back up? Let me just. <laughs> is that, that's that's what I do. I put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> did it move this? I can't fit my mouth. Need to, this, need so to I fix need it. it here. <laughs> How's that? Oh, Christian, you're gonna break it. <laughs> break the whole thing. <laughs> She's so used to it. Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> She's like, Christian, Stop you're it. so silly. Yeah, yeah. Why can't he deep throat that whole thing? We'll talk about it later in the car. Oh my god. We're gonna talk about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. And, and the pop filter, <laughs> everything and the pop filter. Just in your throat <laughs> all the way back. Just she's, like, the she's, she's like, She's like, and I clock and that. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> and I clock that and we'll talk about it later. Um, okay, yeah. so Christian. My first job was a grocery store. Oh, wait, There's nothing was exciting no, about that. What was the worst job? Like, yeah. the worst situation? I want to hear. Okay, it's, we so got like fired. A, you need to tell them. Yeah. That. It's having a worse situation. It's just like it's just, this wouldn't happen to anybody else but him, and it really follows the whole yawning thing. So oh my yeah, god, does. I'm not narcoleptic. She thinks I'm narcoleptic. I fall asleep a lot, uh, but that's because we're you know tired. What? We stay up late. You so remember we fall asleep. him, right? We no, compensate. But I remember Christian when we used to hang out. He would literally be. We'd all be sitting there, and he would just be on the couch, yeah. and like we'd all be hanging out, talking, have a good time. We'd look over, and he'd be asleep. He thinks it's normal. He thinks a lot of people <laughs> do that. <laughs> <and> <laughs> they don't do that. You're talking him just into the mic. Oh my god! <laughs> no, but literally, I would li- like people used to say that we, about but him. We, but we I have know, insomnia. I'm like, the fact That's that thing, you're known do, yeah. for people sleeping a lot that. is yeah. like you obviously have some kind of problem. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not narcoleptic. No we we don't sleep, so At we night. compensate. So you're up all night. Yes. You're all- and then during the day, it's <laughs> like I'll take a nap where I can. If someone's like, yeah. you know, telling me a story about Jesus, I'm, you know, just. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> gotta get it. Gotta get in the naps when you can. <laughs> Good old so Lord stories. Up. No, it's always okay. it's always like the slowest stories that put me like where I'm just like. So oh my pass out. god! I love it. Yeah, I made no you boring yawn. stories over here. No, you didn't you make me yawn. I'm just yawning. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's hear your story. I made myself yawn because I'm yawning. I'm just like, you yawn once and you're just like. We need to put more, yeah, obviously we need to put more yeah. meth in this. Oh what my. are you guys putting this thing? <laughs> okay, so tell, me, tell me your worst story. I want to hear uh, it. You're delaying. Yeah. This is like one of the worst stories. Yes. I have many. Multiple. Okay, so what, give, a, go, give us the, the best one. I think the funniest one yeah. was I worked at a golf course. Oh my God. Okay. Four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Four. everything. So many people I knocked out with golf. No, I was, okay. So <gasps> I was running people. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to work behind the counter. That's why I applied. Because like, just. <gasps> They had the most laid back job and they got paid like 15 bucks an hour to stand by on the counter and just clock people in when they came in. Whoa. I used to change the garbages in the bathrooms. Ew. And, and I think it was like two or three times a week. You know the driving range? Of course. I drove the picker that would pick up the balls. You know that guy the that's, in the big, that that's in the big car? Yeah. Oh my God. But like we had a huge driving range so that would take like an hour and a half to, to do a sufficient amount of I don't know of why ball. they trusted you with that thing. Yeah, they, they, didn't, they didn't know me back then. Yeah. But now they know me. Yeah. Never let him in here again. And I like to fall asleep. What? Right? Yeah. Oh. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, any kind of motion, boats, anything, he'll be like. This is like one of my yeah. first jobs. It's not like my worst first. You're all first. getting married as well. Yeah. yeah like, Excuse me. Do you say I do, do you, sir? Oh, my God. Do you <laughs> say this lovely He's asleep. Ride. We got we to gotta wait till he wakes up. But I probably <laughs> would fall asleep because they're just so like. So monotone about it. Oh Do you God. take oh. this lovely young bride to Worst. be your wow. awful wedded wife? Awful. And at that point, Get out of no, here. Is it, what is it? No, no. What's it? What no, is it? No, not to marry you anymore. No, not awful. What <laughs> is it? Awful. Lawful. 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 I can't. Christian. I okay, can't. you lose. Okay, so you guys are already married anyway. It's yeah, all good. Yeah, we're good. Awful <laughs> wedded wife. So I'm working this golf course, right? And. I was like, I was doing anything to stay awake in that car. I would like be smoking cigarettes, just trying to stay awake because I couldn't keep myself awake. <laughs> oh my god, you're up. So I would, yeah, Smack yeah. Himself. Red Bull cigarettes, and I'd still be passing out. <laughs> oh my so, like, god. There's, you have to imagine it like this. There's the front where everyone's driving the balls, right? Yeah, yeah, They're driving yeah, yeah. them out. And <laughs> They're then, just hitting you with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And yeah, every time I would pull out in that thing, everyone would be like, get him, kill the guy. And they would be trying to hit me with the golf ball. <laughs> so I'd be would? like, trying to, that's the thing. You didn't know that. Everyone that's tries to so hit the picker. Evil. Yeah, yeah, but it's because they're in a cage, so they want to hit it. <laughs> they actually hit you right in the <laughs> temple and kill you. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, a funny, funny story. One time I actually hit a ball and it, it snuck through the side. My friend who was driving in and hit him in the ribs and he just see him in the car. He's like, <laughs> I almost killed this guy. Christian, that's accident. mean. I know, there's accident. Oh my God. All right, so the first fucking... <laughs> So I'm driving this car, right? They teach me how to drive it. I'm like, easy. I'm driving it. And imagine, the people are driving. 
the balls go out that way. You have to you have to come like in and out like this towards yeah. the people and then away oh, from them. Oh, I didn't them. know that. Oh. I thought you were going yeah. horizontal. Okay. No, 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 no. I, Thanks for the visual. Yeah. <laughs> I would be going towards him. So one right. time, like, and here's the thing: when I when I nod off and I start to fall asleep, like I'm usually still like when coherent. When I nod off, it happens you know I mean? well, a lot. You, you know kind of I mean? also hear what's going on. Yeah, yeah I'm still yeah. coherent. Like if someone like yeah. tells me make a left, I can still make a left while I'm sleeping. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he says it too while you're in bed. Asleep. Yeah. <laughs> you're all yeah. It's like, Christian, left, left. Sure. <laughs> I make it perfectly too. So like. I'm like nodding off and like I know I'm like kind of tired so I'm still driving but and it's now it's hot it's summer it's hot it's summer sunny, heat I'm yeah. sweating just passing out in this cage in this fucking cage and I'm driving towards the people oh at this point Oh my point. god they're all you think he's going to stop Bill yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know Tim I don't know if he's, he's awake He doesn't look like he's awake in there Oh You just my. see me and my body he's like not it's bumpy down. so you see my body and they're just passed out just coming full what? force at you while you're trying to drive golf balls So like there's a literally a little hill that comes up to where the people are driving, uh-huh. and I was passed out by the time I got to that, and I pulled up and was coming over <laughs> this hill, passed out, and I remember waking up to the scream of people. <laughs> so I woke up, and I noticed that, like, I was on the driving range, and people were running out of the way, like, what the fuck? You couldn't and kill somebody. And I was like, somebody. and I was like, slammed on the brakes and, like, stopped the car, and they were like, the fuck are you doing? And I was like, sorry, I had to come up. I had to come up to get the balls up here. You know, they're wow. trying to make like, wow. up an excuse. So Did you get fired? Like, no, Crochet. Wait, in the same day and multiple days after, you know how in the driving ranges they tell you like how far you're hitting with the signs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I cost that range so much money because I used to run over the signs could and you destroy them because I didn't sleep. <laughs> so I'd be driving the car. I'd be driving Why the car. Why would you even say I'd yes to that I'd be driving the job. car, right? <laughs> yeah, let's give the narcoleptic guy the yeah. <laughs> This is like, do not operate when fucking dizzy yeah. like, or, yeah. or like you're tired. Right? You do not operate heavy machinery when dizzy or If you're tired. narcoleptic, yeah. it's the only rule that they have is if you're narcoleptic, you can't operate this. <gasps> Christian, I so think listen. you might really be narcoleptic. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. No, no. Who falls asleep while He's doing a job? He's never gotten tested, I wasn't so doing that's a job, but you're step. driving straight for like five minutes no, at a time. It's hot out, and I would just be like. <laughs> Brittany could do it. Brittany could stay awake. I could I'd stay be, awake. I've been listening to like my yeah. headphones, you're like something. My headphones kept putting me to sleep too. Oh my god. He's all listening like, do us. This is a major problem. Do us. Okay, sleeping. Oh it's coming god. to the good part. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god. So, yeah. So, so the signs I used to destroy. I would I would wake up to me running over the signs. <laughs> so I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like going like calmly, and then all of a sudden just that is just so run bad. over a sign. I'd look back, and it would be bent and upside down. And the and the guy who'd run the range, he I'd turn around and he'd be like this <laughs> out the front door, like what the fuck? Okay, but I, this is where I got Why fired. Did they not? Okay, so they did fire you eventually. Okay, yeah. so they fired me not for this. Not even for almost killing people, oh, like some dumb shit. Like well, no, you didn't get all out of the there shit out of the trash though. can. Yeah. I somehow made excuses for it, so they didn't ever like take it seriously. Right, right. Yeah, we know. We just so the reason why I got fired was I was awake doing this. <sighs> So like we we started this one golf <laughs> we had this one golf cart that was really fast that only we could drive the people that worked there, so like like I eighty to, miles an hour fast like 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 forty fifty kilometers an hour which That's is fast, fast for a golf, golf cart because so they took the governor <laughs> out <laughs> so I'd be just like oh, <laughs> just, just ripping dirt around <laughs> literally and like. Our golf course was like in the middle of a field, so I used to take it like off road sometimes. When I'd go to clean the bathrooms out in the middle of the field, oh I would go off road. <laughs> and they'd, How did you get the job? Oh my god! So I didn't realize it at the time, but they had cameras around the course that like oh to always keep an eye on each hole. Right, right. So I like took it off road, and I found like these like moguls, <laughs> and I <laughs> and I literally went full speed like over all these <laughs> moguls, and then hit this jump. That put me back onto like hole like twelve, so I like came over this thing like fifty <laughs> miles by, just like, oh. and like was like having a blast. I was like, <laughs> having a blast. Just, like up in the air, just yeah, land right literally. in someone's golf. Oh my god! While people are there golfing. Stop. So I pull back into like the the golf the 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 pro Clubhouse shop, thing? Yeah. and then my manager comes literally like the second I pull in, he walks out and he's just like. Can I speak to you inside for a second, Christian? Oh boy! And I go inside, and and he like pulls me upstairs, and he's you're like, like thinking in your head, oh my god, this is from the time I was kill people. This like, is yeah, from the time yeah. like, I fell asleep at the wheel. This is because I fall asleep riding the machine all the time. Not oh. this. No, no, no. Oh my god! This is from off roading with a golf cart. He he goes like this. He brings me to his office, and he has a bunch of screens on the wall, and he takes a remote, and he goes like this. He starts scrolling through, and he stops oh it on like hole whatever it was twelve, and then he rewinds it and pushes play, I and he's sitting there with video. me. And you just see this golf cart just <laughs> in the air, and, just <laughs> and then he stops it, and he's like, "Is this the kind of behavior oh my gosh. that you think is fit for have for working at a golf course?" Oh 
my and I was God. just like, I didn't know what to say. You'd I was just like, like, my foot got cut what on the gas pedal. I forgot which was stop and which was go. <laughs> through the <laughs> through the outskirts of the golf course. Oh my God. I got caught going down the I-5. Couldn't get my foot off the gas. It's like the shittiest excuse. <gasps> oh what did my you say? God. I got fired. I just didn't know what to say at you're that point. Yeah, you were like, this is it. I was just like, I was just like, my bad, it won't happen again. He's like, you're right, it won't happen again because you're packing your stuff and you're leaving. And I, I remember like, the day you told me you got fired. I was like, what did you do? Oh, my God. Yeah, but look at you now. Yeah. Look at me now, you're golf course. You're an actor, a musician. <laughs> Ex-Vine star. Ex-Vine star. Your, all your of, wife is a, a, a DIY a husband, master and, yes. and beautiful. Start crying. You're killing it. You're right. Killing it, buddy. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> Don't worry about cry. that, Tom. Cool new product alert. Hello, it's called Myro and it's deodorant and I'm wearing it right now and it's paraben free and it's sulfate free and it's long lasting and it's non-toxic and there's no aluminums and you're not gonna die from it. Woohoo! Who could ask for anything better, guys? Let's be completely honest. I actually didn't realize the whole aluminum thing till recently and I'm like, oh, maybe that's that's why I'm insane. I keep trying to find other things to figure out why I'm insane. So I'm just going to blame it on deodorant, years of using the wrong deodorant. Um, I'm actually wearing this stuff right now. You know, I actually bought another brand of deodorant, which I'm not going to talk about, which was aluminum free. And I still stunk at the end of the day, which was lame. And my husband was like, I'd rather have you use aluminum deodorant and not smell like asshole, if that's a possibility. Um, so actually this company, Myro, they actually reached out to me and were like, hey, girl, we make these amazing deodorants that will make you not stink. They're super good for you and healthy. And the coolest thing about it is that they come in this pod that's refillable. So it's not like you're like wasting plastic by getting a new deodorant case every time. They come in this like cute little round pod that you use to scroll up and you just put the deodorant in it and it it's like in this little click case and it clicks in and then you scroll, you use it. It's just really awesome. I love it. It's super convenient. And Honestly, um, you basically are reducing your plastic waste by 50%. So we're trying to save the environment over here, guys. Uh, I don't know if you are, but I am. I kind of want uh, I kind of want to be able to live here for a little bit longer. So it's a great a great way to do it. If you want to smell good, if you want to save the environment, if you want to leave a, not a crazy carbon footprint on this earth, if you want the future to be good for everyone, you don't want to have aluminum in your body, visit my Myro dot com slash worst w o r s t and get fifty percent off your order. That's m y m y r o dot com slash worst. You get fifty percent off of your deodorant, and it comes in a refillable pod, and it smells really good, and you're gonna smell really good, and it's good for your body, and you're not gonna hurt the environment. Okay, it's a win win. I'm out of here. Oh boy, man. Well, you guys all know about me. Everyone's like, um, she had plastic surgery. I never had plastic surgery. Just FYI. I've gotten injections. I've gotten fillers and Botox and all kinds of stuff. And it's changed my face, which I love. So grateful for. Uh, my face used to be shaped like a jalapeno and now it's uh, more normal looking. So uh, whatever. It makes me feel better. and My self-esteem is better. So uh, you know what? Judge me if you want to, but it's all good. Um, People like getting stuff done, as far as I know. And and people are scared and always have questions. And girls are like, well, how, how do I know uh, what person to go to? And uh, how do I know what procedure I want? And, you know, I'm scared to get Botox. Like, what happens? What does it feel like? All these questions. And, you know, you can go, you can join online forums and ask your girlfriends or whatever. But it's nice to have professionals to talk to. So there's this new company called Spotlight. S-P-O-T-L-Y-T-E. Spotlight.com. Where basically it's like all of the beauty, skincare, whatever situations that you have questions about answered. They are these people that work for the website that specialize in all of these things from, you know, fillers to facials and everything in between, cosmetic injectables, all kinds of things, fat freezing. And they are there to answer your questions, help you provide help you find a provider in your area. And, you know, get going. So it's if you want to do it or if you don't want to do it. Obviously, there's no, you know, requirement that you have to get the procedure done. But you can easily chat with these aesthetic specialists. So if you ever have any questions about an aesthetic treatment or you're looking for one in your area, you know, spotlight.com, S-P-O-T-L-Y-T-E.com. You just go there, slash worst from the podcast, spotlight.com, slash worst. And you can chat. 
with all these aesthetic specialists, ask them all the questions that you want. And if you decide to move forward with any aesthetic treatment, they make it easy for you to find a qualified provider. They have a database of over 30,000 local healthcare professionals, and uh, they make it easy for you and help you set it up and get going. So if you have questions about medical stuff like me all the time, constantly think I'm dying and need uh, to answer questions, you can uh, head over to spotlight.com. Again, that's S-P-O-T-L-Y-T-E dot com slash worst and ask away and hopefully uh, get all the answers you're looking for. Do you like going on picnics? No, no one likes going on picnics. I mean, maybe you do. Maybe you're listening to this in Wyoming on a picnic right now. I don't know. Anyway, it's really hard to take a cold beverage and have it remain cold in the place that you're going. It's difficult, you know? You have to put ice in it or you got to freeze it before you go somewhere. I mean, I get a, I get, take a bottle of water out of my fridge and it's a plastic bottle. And by the time I get to where I'm going, the bottle's usually warm and that's disappointing. And so I was looking for alternatives, you know, not only to lessen my carbon footprint on this earth, but to, uh, you know, try to find something that would keep my drink warm, uh, keep my drink warm, keep my drink cold and I found this company called Brewmate. I actually saw them first advertised on Facebook. They have these like really cool different colors and styles. Like there are these there are these tumblers and mugs and uh, you know, they come in all different shapes and sizes, pint size for for, you know, holding beer. I mean, you could put water, soda, whatever you want in it. They have these amazing retractable tops, so they're spill proof, they're shatter proof, and they're insulated so that they keep your drink nice and freaking cold, exactly how you want it, like your heart. Um, so, so I discovered them because I was first attracted by the way they look. They're super sleek looking. I mean, I personally ordered two in the Carrera marble style. They look like they're made out of marble because, you know, guys, I, I gotta keep it fancy over here. Um, and also I was just getting tired of, you know, throwing away so much plastic. I mean, these, these companies with these water bottles, you're spending four ninety nine dollars for a 24 case of water, God knows how many times a month, depending on how big your family is. And it's kind of a waste. So, um, this brewmate company is offering you guys 15% off of your order should you decide, you know what, I'm going to just use filtered water, put some ice cubes in this thing and, uh, you know, help the planet out because God knows we need it. I mean, come on, global warming is a real thing and it's happening. So if you want to carry around a stylish looking drink cup and help the environment, ugh, win-win situation, head over to brewmate.com. That's B-R-U-M-A-T-E dot com and enter the promo code worst w-o-r-s-t for 15 percent off for you and your family i mean they make everything guys they have even like rainbow sparkly flasks with like glitter tops and then they have like sleek matte black designs for the guys who are just too cool i mean they have everything for everyone in your family so there's really no excuse and if you think about it all the money that you're going to be spending on w- cases of water bottles year after year you might as well buy something that's reused Usable. You can wash it in your dishwasher. It keeps your drinks extra cool and it's spill proof, shatter proof. I mean, it's even better than a plastic water bottle. Come on. And looks way cooler, not to mention that because we're all about looking cool. So if this seems like something for you, head over to brewmate.com, B R U M A T E.com and enter the promo code WORST, W O R S T, at checkout to have the coolest drink of your life. Don't you hate the X Vine Star shit, though? Can we talk about it? Yeah, I don't. I don't hate it. I mean, it's kind of like X anything. Uh, no, but Mickey, it's so Mickey weird. Mouse Club. Like that's what I look at. Right, it. It's like Mickey, Mickey Mouse, Mouse Club, Club. But like for like at... for like derelicts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. guys, you're but part like... of history. Like this is history. Like I think they're gonna write about it one day. Maybe really. Textbook. Yeah. And what about TikTok? No, it's already. <laughs> I got so, TikTok stars. Be... No, so, Vine. Yeah. You have to like understand how big Vine was and like how much of a footprint it left on social media. Yeah. There was nothing like it. Yeah. Like even YouTube at the time, like. More, people were talking more about, about Vine, Vine than they yeah, were about yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like, if X Vine star is like what I'm gonna get out of like being that, then that's cool. They put like, it on your grave. You know? You're like, all right, that's a little too <laughs> much. <Yeah. laughs> Here lies one of the uh, of X Vine stars. Yeah. Oh my God, then they play that song the that you guys all used when everyone was laying in the couch. Oh yeah, 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 in yeah. The arms yeah. Of the angel. <laughs> you know what's so funny? When Tommy and I got married, it was like Tommy Lee my, marries Vine star. I'm like, really? That's all they pulled out. Really? Of 
I did stand-up wow, comedy for wow. years. Yeah. I've done movies. Wow. I've done TV. Nope. Okay, then I see Tommy what? Lee, Marriage Vine Star. Yeah, that's the it. biggest footprint, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's the way I look at it. Just for the title. I never I never booked like the huge shit, so that's why that's why I don't. But you were in movies. You did um We Are Your Friends, right? That was like cool. Yeah, but you know, no one cares about that. <laughs> All they remember yeah. is me putting my, putting my dog's mouth in my mouth. And, oh, yeah. uh, okay, those are seriously You were in Lincoln next to Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, I was, I was, the, I was in. Uh, they don't care. Yeah, I was in, you know. I was in a lot of stuff, uh, Pride and Prejudice, a bunch of big movies, you know, <laughs> Philadelphia with Tom Hanks, you know, it's all good. No big deal, just forget about it. It's fine, It's fine, No, it's all good. It's fine. I'm totally fine with it. Like, I'm but fine why? with it. Like, I'm cool with it. How I'm do you fine. feel about it? It's kind of crazy because it's like, it's weird now. Like, I, didn't you kind of notice that, like, if we don't post stuff that's funny, people don't like it? Do you get that like, or not? Like, you feel like you have to live in the comedy Like, I have to vine. constantly be funny. Which or, or 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 people are like, what is this? Like yeah. I can't take like like I well, noticed. Were you posting that people were having? Well, bad... if ever I post like a pretty photo or something, you know, like it, I'm like be funny. Yeah, they're like, what is this shit? Like we don't want to see you wearing like outfits. We want to see memes or like videos. You know, like it's yeah. kind of weird. You were you were posting like, it for a long time. I noticed that you like kind of weaned off the the memes a little bit. i you were posting memes like pretty prominently. I was before. posting a lot of memes because I was having fun making them. And then I was just kind of like, you know, but I'm like, I'm always changing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm always like, oh, I want to do like this with fashion or like, you know, I'm talking about my anxiety or I'm talking about like, you know, making comedy videos. Or I'm doing this or I'm doing that. And they're like, nope, yep, you can only do funny stuff. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. we don't want to hear about do the you, rest of the stuff. Are you ever stuff. open like with your, with your like audience? Oh, yeah. Because like, that's one thing so I noticed. Open. I noticed that like, and this is just about connection anyway. Yeah, it's just like yeah. the, I noticed the more that I had like real, like real conversations yeah. about real things that. Yeah. W- was going on with me yeah um people would start to be like oh i didn't realize that you had this stuff going on or i didn't realize that you enjoyed doing stuff like right. that because then when you come I out of the blue people it. are like what the fuck are you doing you should change shit but right yeah. i feel like if you kind of i did like i would talk about you know and i make a lot of jokes about my anxiety because obviously like i you know you guys know i've like really bad I i'm the panic same too. and like you know we, we talk, can only make comedy yeah. yeah we like around you know, it. it's part of what we make jokes because we you know, we suffer we so from much. A dark place, yeah. yeah. So it's it's like our little escape. But yeah, like so, I've talked about it a lot, and I think like a lot of people, you know, I I know a lot of people have resonated with it. Like they, I don't know, did you yeah. guys see the American meme? Yes. Of course I did. Yeah, I lo- so and I loved it. I loved I like, how real it was. I talked about that in there and like stuff like that, and so people were like, oh, like I relate to it and I get it, and that was really nice. But then like after that came out. A lot of people also were like, oh, well, you know, you're secretly depressed, so, like, you're not really funny. Like, it was, like, a weird, like, di- like Wait, a weird what? one. Secretly- people, people were, like, two-sided about it. Some people were like, oh, I think it's really great that you, like, spoke out about your, you know, mm-hmm. problems. And then other people were like, oh, so all your funniness is just a front and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's kind no. of, like, weird. Yeah. No, it's Some not about that. Get it. I know. No. Comedy doesn't have to mean that you live in a comedy life you right know? like it doesn't mean that you have to be funny all the time like, no but i think what what the miscommunication was is you were saying how we use humor as a yes. way to like cope oh. with yeah. the stuff but uh, us creating stuff that's comedic doesn't mean that that's what we're using as Ex- the humor the exactly. humor is more so like within us yes. towards each yeah. other yes about it that's yeah, like when so people like meet weird. christian like this is why this is shocked. good because you yeah. can like talk about stuff you can yeah. make it more clear yeah, yeah exactly yeah no i try to like i try to like i try to talk about it and also like i love you know seeing people and and just like catching up and yeah. and you know getting to like being happy this is like what makes me happy yeah. is to like hang out with my friends and laugh yeah like that's the best medicine that's like better than anything and even like, more so like connecting with people because yeah. i notice like there's some people you'll sit down with and it's like yeah you have a good laugh but then you notice that they're nowhere near connecting right. with anything but with you i feel like we could always have like a real uh, aside always. from us always messing around we right. could have like a real a conversation real powwow. Yeah, yeah 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 and yeah. really talk about stuff because we do have a really dark side Unfor- yeah. We have a really For- light side, but we have a really dark yeah. side, yeah. Fortunately and unfortunately. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's great because he's put stuff out there being honest about his anxiety. You've put stuff yeah. out there. And I think I listen to it more when it's coming from somebody where it's like kind of shocking because people yeah. don't expect it out of you guys. Yeah. And even when you meet, you know, people meet Christian and then they're like, I didn't know he was like so serious. Yeah. Even my grandma was like, she when she didn't know him as well, was like watching. <laughs> I don't know about this she, boy. She was you like, to come in and be like, I got some drugs for you. Work, work, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, like, yeah. she said something she like, I didn't know him. he was so polite and like calm and all that stuff. I'm like, really? <laughs> she like, thought you were going to be some asshole. <laughs> yeah, she was living off those videos, I guess. No, but wow. even when people like recognize me in public, they kind of. Uh, like uh, what's it called? <laughs> they they take a double take sometimes yeah. when they meet they're me like, because they're like, you seem too calm. They're like, wait, yeah. are you yeah. Christian? I'm like, yeah. 
It's me. It's me. Yeah. Can't you tell? You can't tell. <laughs> you put you carry the black wig on. <laughs> yeah. Christian! Oh oh my wig? God. You don't wear that all the time. That's so crazy. You don't do you suffer from that stuff too or not really as much? I don't. I she doesn't and I know why. You're so lucky. Well, it's, Did you grow up not, with like a healthy family, like your good parents and stuff? I would say I just was like the youngest and dealt with everybody else. So then I was just like, be fine, help everybody, that kind of thing. Okay. So my mom sometimes calls me when I like tell her like, you know, what's going on. She's like, but are you okay? I'm like, yeah, mom, I'm always fine. Like I've never gone up and down. She's right. been in good hands. I noticed this with like a lot of people is like me and you can probably relate more is because we've gone through like really dark dark times, times to, yeah. where, to where it shifts your perspective about yeah. things and that's why we have anxiety is because yeah. her perspective is pretty clear like she's been taken care of like also like with me i make sure that i take care of and a lot of people oh. don't he have protects that. me from a lot like a lot of, that's so nice because for me like you and you've probably been through the exact same yeah. thing as like being screwed over and then yeah caring about people and then realizing that they are they're, shady they're like out to get you yeah. and then it's like yeah now we our guards are up for everything yeah you have to be so careful. Yeah. That's why I literally, like, I mean, I moved to Calabasas, obviously, and so I don't see people a lot, but I kind of just, like... Do, don't you kind of like it? Got or? scared and, like, hold up. Yeah. I do like it. I mean, Tommy and I spend, like, literally 90% of our time just in the house with each other. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah. Like, it's great, you know? But then I was like, oh, I should hang out with my friends, like, sometimes, you know? Yeah, but then of course. You That's where I'm your at. friend circle gets really small. Tiny. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I came out here, and he was telling me all, like, the scary stories of, like, don't trust these people, this, that. So yeah. then for me, coming here, hearing all that, I feel yeah. like I I've just never let anybody close to me kind of thing. It's scary. And it's worked out and it's worked out fine for her. And that's the difference between us is we didn't have that. We didn't have that like going into this business. We didn't have like someone like kind of mentoring a little bit. It's the worst thing is, is I've had people that have been so nice to my face. And then I've gone into meetings and have them, I've had people like in meetings for jobs be like, oh, that person was in here and like said they they don't like you or they don't understand why you're popular or that kind of thing. And I'm like, whoa. I would never do that. This like, I would never, no, like, never. go into a, a meeting and be like, I don't know why you work with that person. She sucks. That's like, I would crazy. never. Yeah. I hate that people think that you're in competition with somebody else because everybody, like, offers their own kind of thing. You can't beat somebody else out. You guys offer different things. So to someone, for someone to shut you down, like, yeah. we're all different. that's crazy. Like, it's, like, kind of crazy. But people are so competitive I know. in this business. Like, they are. And I don't, don't want to be. I mean, you know either. what I mean? Me and neither. I, I don't like it. And then, like, people try to get in my head, like, oh, like, you don't get as many likes as so-and-so, or you, like, need to work on this or that. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't post yeah. for, like, the likes. Like, I post because it's fun. Like, you know, whatever. It's kind of crazy. But I think we're moving, like, further and further away from – and I wrote about this, too. I think we're moving, like, away from art. You yeah. know what I mean? And, like, you're an artist, and I, when I look at you, I know you're an artist. Like, yeah. w- with everything that you're going to do, because you're going to oh, still be very nice. successful. And I know that. I hope so. But, like, yeah. Come on. We have a wood table here <laughs> my, for the... My dad's, my dad's listening to this. He's also... Oh we have a wood table here for all the knock-up woods that we yeah, need for yeah, this podcast. Exactly. Yeah, Just the whole time, guys. But, um... <laughs> Sounds like someone's at the door. <laughs> I think it's, like, it has to become less and less about that because it's yeah. all... Now social media has just become, like, a, a popularity chase. It seriously And it's not is. about creating things that, like, yeah. are a connection. And I stopped posting, like, pictures and stuff like that on my page because I want... When people come to my page, I want them to, like get to be able to laugh yeah and not and not ever watch something that's gonna like mess with their mind or make yeah. them think like holy crap look how popular he is or look what he has or look yeah. at, i want them to be able to just relate to me because that's me it was when i create comedy and like yeah. when you create comedy that's us we're that's like a, a piece of us coming out into social media and people can laugh and that's why they laugh is because they can relate to it and why can they relate to it because it's us and yeah. we relate to it i try yeah. to make people laugh as much as possible because i just feel like there's nothing better than laughing yeah like, there's literally nothing better that's why i say for nine years i've been with him like i'm always like because he keeps you laughing he's so funny like it's always fun and like the fact that i literally woke up one morning i was like we literally laugh every day like that makes me happy so don't you ever think how blessed we are yeah like you have a partner who like you can hang out with and like make a career out like you guys have made a career out of what you do and like laugh and have fun and together, just be together yeah. and that's your job yeah. like how cool is that we're we should, literally we talking about hands, gratefulness yeah, today it's so grateful like i wake up every day and i'm like i'm so blessed Here. i literally there we go my hands are sweaty because of the anxiety like, we're, all, yeah, we're just all sweating <laughs> yeah. 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 we're all like clammy and cold the thing that you used to tell me about when you used what? to say um 
you you like your therapist used to tell you like to count like your what, what was it whenever oh. you'd be in like mid anxiety oh 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 oh, oh, oh. To, tr- to try to describe um, yourself describe to yourself describe something <gasps> like to look at like so if I'm having I remember a, that my psychiatrist said if I'm having a panic attack she said to look at something in the room and describe it to yourself so I would just look like a psycho oh everywhere I went when I wasn't on medicine I'd be like uh, 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 there's a blanket on the wall and, and it's got swivels on it and there's it's stitched and it looks it's like it's supposed to take your mind away from it looks like it, right? it took a little quill and it's comfortable yeah but I would still be having the panic attack in well, an audition room yeah. and people just yeah <laughs> Oh, I don't remember this being the piece that. Uh, Everyone's like, I don't think she's rehearsing she's the script. She's talking <laughs> oh about my, my T-shirt. God. It's weird. I'm like, oh, it's bad. It's, it's vinyl. He looks nervous. Uh, he's sweating. Uh, he's he like, looks nervous. I would literally start talking to myself, and people would think I was crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. He's like, I meant in your head. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I would talk out loud, out loud because I was like, I was trying trying to get rid of the panic, but it didn't work. It was wow. really bad. Yeah, I think that there's something wrong with my. Um, I was just telling Tommy this the other day, because I want to get off, I've taken antidepressant, I eventually want to get off of it, I've been on it since I was like 16, but every time I've tried to get off of it, I have like a mental breakdown, which is awful. I basically just start having so many panic attacks that I can't get out of bed. Like, And people think a panic attack is just someone being like, oh, I'm nervous, but no, no, a panic no. attack is like where I literally like can't Call breathe. Like, Whoa. Like, like, I'm, like I think I'm having a heart attack, I feel my heart like squeezing, I get pain in my chest, I start sweating. Like it's like literally it's a, I start feeling seeing in the world. Like, but is that vision. kind of like a withdrawal thing too, maybe? Also like, well, here's the thing, like I actually weaned myself off of like under a physician care I wean myself down and then at the end of you know I'm on this drug called Effexor which is like the worst drug on the planet well not getting a sponsorship from them shout out but not shout out <laughs> like never mind um, so basically the drug they say is more addictive than heroin Jesus. to the body oh my god so it's like really bad like one of my girlfriends is actually gonna going to get an antidepressant because she's been struggling and they were like we will never put the, anyone on that drug how They've, did you get off i was years it was years ago yeah, yeah, you know okay. so it was like the best thing they had at the time and i tried everything else you know i tried like wellbutrin and zoloft and, and, and paxil and uh uh seroquil and um <laughs> and lexapro and those. prozac and, <laughs> and I, just on pills forever no, like i literally tried every single wow. one every single one and then finally they were like well then we're gonna try uh, effects are for you and they put me on a really high dose of it and um, it basically like my, your body gets addicted to it like right away so wow. then if you forget a dose for a day you like start your brain like starts like, const- like it feels like your brain's constricting and you can't see and see you start to, like, I feel like they do that on purpose blurry vision and like you, wow, you, you, it's 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 horrible. There's literal like if you Google like effects are withdrawal. Is it like similar to? There's that? literally like posts of like and blogs dedicated to how evil this drug is like Jesus. they've made it your body so addicted to it that which is i scary. which is crazy because like i feel like i'm at a point now where i don't need it but it's done so much chemical interference to my brain that i when i don't have it it just that's automatically the, pan- the panic attacks coming wow. it's awful like you know i when i was when i finally did get off of it i was taking benadryl like i would take benadryl like 10 benadryl a day so i wouldn't have a panic attack why? What would Benadryl? Isn't that this calming? It's like oh. an antihistamine, oh, so yeah. could, whatever would keep me from having the heart. Like wow, you know, it was it was really bad. And I like, and then I just was like, you know what? I couldn't go to auditions. I couldn't go to meetings. Yeah, I that's debilitating. Do yeah, people don't realize how debilitating. Yeah, it is. like I, I was like I used to call you about it. You guys yeah, used to always yeah. talk about. I this. have a lot of people. Remember that, when you used like, to come visit out? me like yeah. I was a patient at my yeah, apartment? Yeah, yeah. And be like, hey, I hope you're doing I better. Know, but I was just stay in my apartment. What did you do? Did you just? How did you get through it? Because you seem like good right now. Yeah, or you're still working. Through it, I'm obviously. still still working it's through kind it. Kind of a lifelong battle. I haven't had a panic attack in in probably two years. Not going. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. yeah that, you're like so full, lucky. Like full blown. Like I'll get them here wow. and there, but I'm talking about full blown. Like right. the last panic attack I had, I was at Boa Steakhouse. Oh wow! And I and I got carried out in a stretcher from Boa Steakhouse. They called nine one one. Where was yeah. it? Because you thought you were having a heart attack, right? Uh, everything. I thought yeah. I was having everything. My body just started to time. shut down, and Doesn't I didn't know what to like do. Doesn't it feel like almost a seizure? Yeah, and I that mean, makes me wonder if it's like a seizure type. It thing should. Too. I'm sure it's like to a degree similar. Because like the, the shaking way that, and like the like the. I don't, I don't know where I really couldn't breathe. It, yeah. I started to shake. My heart was racing. I started like, sweating. Start, sweating. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Yeah. I was like, I can't see things. Yeah. And I literally looked over at my brother and I'm like, please call 911 right now because I'm dying. And yeah. he was like trying to call 911 fast. But I remember like being outside and they put me on the stretcher and we went and in the ju- back of the ambulance. And isn't it the worst when they say it's just a panic attack? You're like, you're, so, you can't be right. The scary thing was is they didn't tell me that until I got to the hospital. So like they checked all my vitals and whatever. They were trying to check my, check my blood pressure, but I was shaking so much that they couldn't get like a proper blood pressure reading. So they, when I got to the hospital, I got rushed in and they made me do like a series of like brain tumor cancer type tests like, like maybe if you're, you're having a stroke or yeah, something right and i immediately went into testing so like i was 
in, I was like panic attack, having another panic attack within that panic attack. And then attack panic attack from all the testing, right? Yeah. It just made that it That was worse. one of the most traumatized. And then it was that that kind of like triggered the the anxiety. Right. Because of it I was like only again. like thinking about like. Because once that happens. You're like, is it. It was scary. You start to like yeah. hyper focus. I'm starting to realize like, don't you start to realize your triggers too? Yeah, yeah definitely. Like traveling definitely. abroad. Anytime Tommy and I go anywhere far away, I automatically can feel, I get sick before we go. Wow. Like I get my body just it's the reaction like if we have to go like to another country or if yeah. we have to go like on vacation it should be fun, right? It should yeah. be something you look forward to. Nope, my body's just like you're going to feel awful. Like it just shuts down because it's like my biggest fear is I'm going to be somewhere where I can't get saved. Like I'm going to be somewhere. Wow. I'm like that too. I'm like that too. Like there's no hospital nearby. Like fuck. Like what I am I going to do? I have to like always sit and Kristen can attest to this. Yeah. I always have to sit like if we're at a restaurant or anywhere, I always Outside have to sit room. like back facing everything yeah because i need to know like where my exits are and like all this stuff i can't be like back turned to everything it's scary you guys it's really scary no so do you take anything for it now or no if you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to no i don't take anything for it now but you ask like what i've been doing i just think it's just about like balance in your life i can i just say how much i admire you for not (laughs) succumbing to taking any kind any kind of drugs he never even got but that was a scary that was just like another scary point for me that was another anxious point for me it was taking a drug i didn't want to have to do that i literally couldn't live my life like i barely takes advil really yeah i won't touch anything unless i like i went to i went to you have anxiety about drugs too right yeah yeah. that's part of the anxiety exactly i get anxiety taking taking it too that's why i take like i'm on that antidepressant i weed myself down to the very lowest dose of it but i do get scared because my my doctor's like you have a valium prescription you need to use it because yeah. my valium will get like old like it'll get oh, expired wow. because i'm so scared to take it because it's also an addictive drug yeah but i'll be having a panic attack like freaking out seizing up and he'll you know uh, i'll call him and i'll be like you know i need help or I need to go house like you're having a panic attack you need to take the valium that's what it's for like it's kind of crazy wow yeah. but it's good that you've managed to do it without like, I, I'm very, like, I admire that. You know? I noticed that just, like, you have to come down to the root of the problem, yeah. ulti- ultimately. Because for me, that was it. I was always looking at, like, what's, why am I feeling this way? And I had to break everything down. Because I right. wasn't willing to accept that the people that I was around were, like, not the best people that I should be around. The right. pressures around, about being around those people. His like, all, lifestyle. My lifestyle. The, like, all everything. these things. I was just like, I need to get out of this because it's only going to lead to really negative things yeah. because of the situation. And I noticed that the more I pulled away from things I didn't want to pull away got, from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think the thing too is also like acting and auditioning. It's a lot of anxiety. Yeah. And that's what was like the peak of it. You were going out like two times a day sometimes doing yeah, auditions. Going out like a lot. it was hectic Do at that point. Do you still audition? Yeah, audition here and there. I'm just too. trying to be more selective now just because yeah. like. Because it takes a lot out of you. I'm yeah, writing a lot of my own person, stuff now, so like really I don't want to like. And it's, it's almost like I think a lot of us creators do that because like it's. Like I get so anxiety ridden before auditions, like the whole night before I'm fucked over. Like I'm like, I can't sleep. I'm like tossing and turning, thinking about my lines. Like what what's gonna happen? What if I have a panic attack? Excuse me, in the audition. Like, you yeah. know, I do I do that thing too. But once I get the job, I'm okay. Like once I'm on yeah. set, I'm like, okay, it's cool. Perfect. It's like it's I hate auditioning. I it's literally help him like read this. for like self tapes and I'm like, I don't know how you guys do this. Like it's this so is annoying. not something I would wanna do, but I all praise to you guys for doing yeah, that. I love doing it. Obviously, it's more fun once you're once you're it working the job game, and you're working though, on set. Like, what like so much you have to go through to get to that point. So it's a lot of work. It is, and you know, Tommy will like help me with lines, and it'll be like ten pages, and he'll be like, "Oh my god, oh you have to memorize god. all this." He's like, "What if you don't get it?" And I was right? like, "Then I don't get it." And he's like, "What a waste of time! I would never do this shit." <laughs> He's That's like, I would never waste my it. time with this shit. Like, Thanks for like, the support, honey. He's like, you're going to memorize all this shit and you might not get it? What a, what a waste oh of time. I love him. He's so yeah. funny. Anyway, I want to end on a high note. Where can we follow you guys? Tell us all. At Christian on yeah, Instagram. Christian. I guess that's like the Christian, main thing. Yeah. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. Just like Christian. The name. Like the religion, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And Kristen McGowan is Kristen McGowan. at Kristen McGowan. Yeah. And you'll see her on his page. I don't want to yeah. spell it out because I'll butcher yeah, it. Yeah, don't even, I don't even want like, to. Uh, Kristen McGowan, uh, F T seven four underscore. I love you guys. Thank you Thanks so much for being on the podcast. This was so fun. I feel I like we like this. went through like a whole relationship yeah. together. Right I feel like we're in therapy. Bye, um, my lord. Play me hands. Yours are really cool. Yeah, they're really bad. Yeah, I'm unhealthy. Now. Okay, we're done. I love you. Time Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Make sure to like. Like and subscribe to Worst First. I'm Brittany Furlong.